Hey everyone, this is Mary from SVG Cuts and I'm here today with some new Halloween designs, which I'm really excited about. I really love the nostalgia of the jelly bag. It reminds me of the 80s when I was a kid because it was my mom's pool bag, beach bag, and I think it's really fun to put um, a, a holiday twist on something like that. So I quickly came up with a couple of sketches of some Halloween ideas. I didn't do them all, but I picked three that I liked the best and I did a kitty cat and it looks really good in glitter paper or also um, as you can see this mirror paper i also just ordered some more um, specialty papers from 12 by 12 cardstock.shop and i think i might make a couple more like in pink and stuff for instagram reels and tiktok maybe it'll be exciting we'll see so i also have a jack-o-lantern design which looks nice in shimmer paper or glitter this one i think you could make in any color scheme any color such as pink green purple whatever black gold silver holographic I ordered some holographic papers and I really can't wait to see how that looks for really any of these um, finally the owl I think is really cool my daughter really loves this one and it could work any time of year not just for Halloween it could be um, just for somebody who thinks it's cool you could put some goodies in there some shredded paper maybe some fun stuff that you find at TJ Maxx or Target or something like that. So let's go ahead and get started. I think the coolest thing about these two is how easy they are to make. There's a couple of guidelines. You just glue them in a few places and then all the tabs go down on the outside, then the panels, if that makes sense. It's a lot easier than trying to glue every little piece where it's supposed to go. So let's go ahead and do this. For the black cat jelly bag, we have the front piece, the back piece, two side pieces, and a front and back panel. Let's go ahead and fold these pieces along the fold lines, which for this one, it only has two fold lines one here one there and then these fold over here and there's one here those are the same So we'll just go ahead and fold over each of these tabs. So it's personal preference if you wanna go over those with a bone folder after they've been folded. Or just press it down yourself. Sometimes certain papers can be a little um, harder to fold along the fold line. I'm not sure what is up with that. I see that happen more often with my black paper. But you can just tell it where to, where to go here and it'll work out. So we can do the same thing to this piece, which is really just a mirror image of the other side piece. Just like that. Like this. And like that. So now we have all of our fold lines folded over. And there are some missing tabs here. That's where the whiskers are gonna be going. Next, we can glue the back onto the front here, onto the bottom, and we can use these two dots as guidelines to let you know that you're putting it in the correct spot, just like that. So I like to use Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, also called Quick Dry Tacky Glue by Scotch. 
because I like how it dries fairly clear. It's easy to find. It has the precision nozzle. What else? Those are my, my big reasons. Let us know what kind of glue you like to use in the comments. I feel like the next most popular glue among paper crafters that I've heard of is the Art Glitter Glue for similar reasons. And I just happened to use this. So these are gonna go just like this. And we want this side here that's missing some tabs to be facing up towards the whiskers because the whiskers are gonna go through those tabs. So the tabs are gonna be going on the outside of the project and then the panels will hide the tabs. It's a lot easier to assemble that way and easy and fun crafting is always a good thing for obvious reasons. So you can always align the tabs that way later, but if you want, you can put them on top already as you glue this down. Gosh, I'm really getting glue all over, but that's fine. So this glue dries clear, but if you you know, it looks really shiny and obvious, but you can generally clean it up pretty good before it is too late. So, I'm gonna fold the back over. And then these tabs are gonna fit right around the edge here, just like this and they're gonna go on the outside, which is so much easier than trying to glue them on the inside. And then those panels will cover them up for a finished look. So let's start by anchoring this top tab here. So I anchored this right here, and now the rest of these tabs here, this one, this one, these, and these, those can all get glued down just right on the front. So there we go. Those are all glued down on the outside and they're gonna be hidden. So it's all good if they're not looking super perfect because you won't be seeing them. So again, we'll just feed these tabs around here with the whiskers sticking out. Anchor this top one. like this. And 
and then just glue the rest of them down in sections here, three at a time, three at a time, and then those guys, just like we did before. I'm excited to see how this looks with the gold mirror paper as the panel, because I previously made a couple with black glitter paper as the panels, which looks awesome, but the gold certainly gives it a different look that's going to be really cool. If I had hot pink glitter paper handy, I was going to try that. Do the bag in pink with pink glitter paper panels. Purple could be cool. Really any color. even as a non-Halloween design for a cat lover. So I'll turn it over and do the same thing on the back, except there's no whiskers, but I'll still start by anchoring this top tab and then glue the others into place as well. And then repeat on the other side. Super cute, now we can put the panels on. So I'll just glue this right onto the front and the back right onto the back. And that looks really cool already. So I don't think you need to cover the entire thing with glue, perhaps just the outside the large areas, maybe a couple dots of glue on the inside, maybe a couple dots on the whiskers. Sorry, this is a little harder to see, the white on white.
I really like the way this looks. It's so cute. I think my daughter's gonna love it. Shiny. Shiny's always fun. Kitty cats are fun. Halloween is fun. Fun, fun, fun. So now I'll just do the same thing and glue this back panel right onto the back. I love it. For the jack-o'-lantern jelly bag, there's the front, the back, the sides, and the panels, which is a front and a back. I think it's fun to use specialty paper for these panels. I used some orange shimmer paper. First, we can start by folding over all of these tabs along the sides of these two side pieces. So you can fold them all over and then sort of flatten them out just like this. So we'll do that for both of the side pieces, this one too, down the sides, and those are all the score lines. So this piece here has a longer end and there are two little lines that your machine will have cut right here. You can use those to help line this up. Although just using the ends works too, but I just like to make it as clear as possible where things go. And if it looks like these two pieces of orange paper are slightly different, it's not just your eyes playing tricks on you. They are, in fact, slightly different. But I'm just gonna go with it. So as you're gluing that, if you wanna kinda curve it just a little bit, that would be great. 
And then as you can see, there are two little circles here, two little circles here, and then on the ends, there's a triangle on this tab here, as well as here, and on the other end here, triangle and a triangle. Those are to help you line it up with your shapes. So here's the back, I'm gonna set that aside too. Here's the front. These tabs are gonna get glued onto the front of your project all the way around. And you can see that the triangles and the circles line up with these circles and these triangles here, there and there. So first we're gonna anchor the bottom, just one of these bottom tabs. I know it's tiny, but just bear with me, it's gonna work out beautifully. So with the tabs on the outside, next we're gonna anchor this little triangular cutout tab here. Once you've got it lined up, just hold it, make sure it takes hold. You can do the same thing over here. Then you can glue each of these down one at a time if you want, or if you can grab some scrap paper or some kind of work surface that can get glue on it, we can just, we're gonna just put a line of glue all the way around, fold these over quickly, flip it over and press down from the inside. I'd like to make this part as easy as possible. So, I think this is a nice, easy way to do this. It doesn't have to be perfect and beautiful, but just kind of get those folded back over. And then press them into place. So now I can do the same thing with the back. I'll fold these up so they're out of the way. And then take my back piece here and do the same thing, aligning one of these circles and then the triangles on the sides.
Okay, I've got it anchored in three points. I'm gonna put a line of glue around the outside again. Get those tabs in place. And then we can put our panels on. And I hope that you found this to be super easy. So if you wanna make a couple, it's no big deal. Or if you just wanna make one, it's no big deal. So next we can put our panels on. So I'll start with the front, just flip it over and add some glue around it, especially just on, on the larger parts of it. Once you have the placement the way you like it, just turn it over and push down. And then we'll repeat that on the back side. I think this would look so cool with some black shredded paper in it and some little goodies. Maybe some socks, a scrunchie, a hair bow. Some stuff from TJ Maxx or Target. Seems to be a good place to find some fun seasonal things, little treats. I love it. So we'll just glue this on the same way on the back. That looks so cool. I love it. I love the whole jelly bag thing. I have some plain jelly bag. I have a plain jelly bag design at spgcuts.com. It's a little bit smaller scale, but similar. I just love the nostalgia for me personally of the jelly bag because it reminds me of being a kid, going to the pool, going to the beach. That was my mom's beach bag. Good times, fun stuff cute vintage like 80s vintage just love it for the owl jelly bag we have the front the back the the sides and the front and back panels which i cut out of Specialty paper, purple glitter. Loving it, loving it. So let's start by folding over all of the score lines, which are only on these pieces here. Pretty straightforward.
So these sides, I broke this one up so that we could use less sheets of paper. So that's why this one gets glued together, but not the other one. So this we glue together using this funky looking tab here. So that they're just about the same, just mirror images of each other. And then we can fold over all of these score lines. So there's that. This one's the same. Just flipped. Next, we can glue together the front and the back, which goes just like this. You can use that little circle here. These two circles line up with each other. Next, I'm gonna glue the two sides on to the bottom with these two tabs here. They could kind of go either way. I think it looks cute to have the design facing this way, <clears throat> like it's kind of coming away from his face. It could, it could be like that, but I think it looks better like this. So, I mean, you could glue these on using these tabs here. They could be reversed, it would be fine. I just prefer the way that it looks like this. So here's the, obviously the face, the pointy parts are pointing up on these, these cutouts here and here. So I'll glue these onto the bottom. And the tabs are gonna be going on the outside of the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and have them on the outside while I glue this down. You could always feed them underneath or feed them up here later, but might as well start with them this way. Whoops. Somebody's out of control. It's me. Okay. So what I mean by that is that the tabs are on the outside. They're going to be glued on the outside. But if you have them underneath, you can always feed them back up. Not a huge deal. So next I'm going to fold this over. These actually go this way, like that. And then keeping the tabs on the outside, I'm going to be anchoring this circle tab right where that circle is.
Next, I'm gonna anchor this larger tab here that's close to the corner. Just right into place there. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And again, I'll just glue this right here as another anchor. Then I would, you can glue these down one at a time if you would like, but on top of some scrap paper, I'm gonna just do this with a line of glue and flip it over and press that down inside. So same thing on the other side. Nice and easy. Makes it a lot more fun, obviously. So next I'll do the same thing with the back side. Kind of fold these out of the way here. Get my anchors anchored and then glue those tabs down.
Okay. Now we can just put the front and the back panel on, finish it off, make it super special. So I'll just put a line of glue around the main parts of it, mostly on the outside, a little on the inside. So that looks awesome. Just put the back on and be done. Looks like I got a little glue coming out here. I do like to keep a random straight pin handy for when I do get some extra glue coming out. In this situation, this it dries clear, it dries a little shiny. Probably wouldn't really notice it with all that glitter going on, but it's something I like to do. Now we can just put the back on. I might just get this cat hair, get the cat hair off there first. Might just throw a couple dots of glue in the middle area and then just put that right on the back. And there is our owl jelly bag. So cute, so whimsical, yet a little elegant, a little mysterious, a little vintage. If you know an owl lover, perfect. A little treat container for them. There it is, loving it. So there you have it, super fun projects for Halloween, super easy and quick. I hope you have a great time making them. If you do, you definitely have to share a picture with us on social media. I love to see and so do the rest of our crafty friends. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time and happy crafting.